Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches science. Telephone is 0753802709. Today we are going to look at coordination and control in the animal. Lesson 1, over to. I'm requesting you to subscribe to promote my videos. Note that subscription for these videos is entirely free. Coordination is to cause the parts work together in a proper order. Coordination and control in the animal is performed by both the nervous system and endocrine system. Differences between nervous system and endocrine system. Nervous system is fast acting, endocrine system is slow acting. The nervous system effects are localized in endocrine system effects are diffuse. Ferry in the nervous system transmission is a chemical and electrical. In the endocrine system transmission is a chemical. In the nervous system transmission is through nerves in endocrine system, transmission is through blood, the nervous system. It is composed of highly specialized cells called nerve cells or neurons. Sensory neurons carry impulses from receptors to the central nervous system. In short, CN. Is motor or effector neurons carry impulses from the central nervous system to the effectors. The drawings of the neuron they are, are as shown. This is a sensory neuron. This is a motor neuron. Each neuron has got all the parts of the cells, like a normal cells except that they have longer axon. In between them, there is a relay neuron. Sometimes the relay neuron may be there or it may be missing. So differences between the sensory and the effector neuron. In the sensory neuron, the impulses are from the receptor, the central nervous system. The effector neuron the impulses are from the central nervous system to the effector. The cerebral body of the sensory neuron is in the middle of the axon. The cerebral body of the motor neuron is at the end. The cerebral body of the sensory neuron is located in the dorsal root ganglion of the spinal cord while the cerebral body of the effector neuron is located in the gray matter of the spinal cord. The impulse or action potential is a temporary and localized reversal of resting membrane potential that occurs when an axon is stimulated. That is, during the action potential, the membrane is depolarized. It becomes a positive inside and negative outside. So the impulse is caused by influx of sodium ions into the membrane because stimulation of an axon opens the sodium gates. The events that occur during transmission of impulses are shown below. Before an impulse, 
the membrane is paralyzed. Positively charged outside relative to the inside. The positive charge outside is caused by the, the very many sodium ions relative to few potassium ions inside. At action potential, when the action is stimulated, sodium gates are open. Remember there was more sodium ions outside than inside. Then they reduce inside, causing the membrane more positive inside relative to outside. Recovery of the membrane begins with diffusion of potassium ions from inside the membrane to outside the membrane. Later, total resting membrane potential is achieved by the sodium potassium pump that pumps two sodium ions outside the membrane and pumps only one potassium ion is inside the membrane. So more positive ion is removed out as a few positive ion is are moving into the membrane until such a time when outside the membrane is positive relative to inside the membrane by about 70 millivolts. The movement of impulse in the axon is due to movement of action potentials along the axon. Properties of impulses. A. Stimulation. Although impulse is caused by excitation of receptor cell, it can be caused by any stimulus that opens the sodium channel and cause the polarization. In general, nerves can be stimulated by mechanical, chemical, thermal, osmotic, and electrical stimuli. B. All on our finger. An excitable tissue will only be excited by stimulus above a certain threshold intensity. For a given neuron, the amplitude of action potential is always constant and increasing the intensity or the number of stimulus has no effect on this. For this reason, the potentials are described as all or nothing row. The all or nothing row states that the response of excitable unit is independent of the intensity. The axon will always be excited to the maximum whether you are using a stimulus of a higher value or a lower value as long as it is above the threshold intensity. See, refractory period it is the period under which a nerve cannot transmit impulse following transmission of the first one. It is divided into Absolute refractory period under which a nerve cannot transmit an impulse at all following transmission of the first one. And two relative refractory period in which a nerve can transmit an impulse if a stimulus of a higher intensity is used. Factors affecting conduction velocity. One, axon diameter. The bigger the axon diameter, the faster the conduction of impulses. Because big axons offer lower resistance, 
transmission of wind pulses to marination and cell total conduction. Marinated axons conduct impulses faster than unmarinated axons because the polarization in the marinated axons only occurs at the node of Lamvia. And the conduction is said to be cell total. Free temperature. Nerve conduction is first at higher temperature than at low temperature. For this reason, homoisozam maintain high body temperature and conduct impulses faster than pyrozam that have fluctuating temperatures. Then for resting membrane potentials. Hyperpolarization, slow conduction, velocity. The synapse. This is a function area where two axons meet for the purpose of transferring information. Electrical synapse transfer information from one axon to another using electrical means. Wireless chemical synapse transfer impulses from one axon to another using chemical means all using chemicals. The structure of chemical synapse. The presynaptic knob has got a presynaptic membrane between the presynaptic membrane and the post synaptic nerve cell. We have the synaptic cleft in for synaptic membrane, the presynaptic knob also has got the mitochondria and synaptic viscous. Then, transmission across the synapse, arrival of impulse at the synapse, cause influx of calcium ions into the knob from synaptic cleft. Calcium ions cause presynaptic viscous to move and fuse with presynaptic membrane and release their transmitter substances into the synaptic cleft. The transmitter substances move and fuse with specific receptors on the presynaptic membrane causing the polarization. Transmitter substances. The transmitter substance at the majority of the synapse is acetylcholine. After the effect of acetylcholine, it is inactivated by the enzyme choline strase to prevent continuous transmission at the synapse and keep the impulses separate. The product of hydrolysis buzz back into the knob where acetylcholine is resynthesized. The second transmitter substance is noradrenaline at the sympathetic nerves. The neuromuscular junction. It is a special synapse between the nerve and the muscle. Instead of the second neuron on this side, we have the muscle. Then transmission at the neuromuscular junction. Arrival of the stimulus at the synapse cause influx of calcium ions from synaptic cleft. Calcium ion cause synaptic vesicles to move and fuse with presynaptic membrane leading to release of transmitter substances into the cleft. The transmitter substances move and fuse with special receptors on the postsynaptic membrane, causing the polarization 
and contraction of muscle. Function is of the synapse. One, it ensures that impulses move in one direction. Two, it amplifies the impulse by producing enough acetylcholine. Three, adaptation or accommodation. With the continued stimulus, the amount of transmitter substance is released, steadily the fall, causing no response of the neuron. This may prevent damage and inconveniences caused by overstimulation. Four, integration. Postsynaptic neuron receives stimuli from many sources, which it integrates to produce coordinated response. Discrimination. The synapse prevents passage of stimulus of weaker intensity and allows stimulus of higher intensity. Inhibition. The synapse may stop some impulses from crossing. Thank you very much for listening to this video. Please find more resources on digitalteachers.co.ug. I'm requesting you to subscribe to promote my videos. 